Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I did a one brand makeup tutorial using the Balm Cosmetics. I ran a poll on Instagram while I was unboxing some makeup and I asked you guys if you wanted to see a The Balm makeup face, first impressions, and you guys said yes, do it girl. So that is what I did today. I always see these products like all over like stores, but I never really reached out for them. I don't know, it's just like, it's just that kind of brand that you're just like, oh, is it gonna be good, is it not gonna be good, but you guys, I, I loved it so much. I am obsessed with my face. I'm feeling myself so much. Literally, this highlight and the eyeliner is just like winning everything right now. Of everything. I remember when I first started watching YouTube, everybody used the Balm Cosmetics and everybody used the Mary Luminizer, which is the highlighter. And that was like maybe like a couple like five years ago. So it's crazy how like makeup has evolved so much from then. But the Balm has been around for so long and I can't believe it took me this long to try on their products and I really, really did enjoy them so I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Before we get started though make sure you are subscribed to my channel and thumbs up if you want to see more one brand makeup tutorials. So if you guys want to see how I got this look right here using all the Balm Cosmetics products then please keep on watching. Alright guys let's get started. I'm gonna start with my eyes because my face is already done. So I have two eyeshadow palettes. I have the Meat Matrimony and I have the Nude Beach palette so I think what I'm gonna do is just mix them both together. I think that is the most fair thing to do. So this is what Nude Beach looks like right here. It ranges from, I think it's so cute how it has like girls and boys in it. So I think I'm gonna go in with the matches from the other ones, but definitely I wanna dig into these shimmery ones right here. And Meet Matrimony, I think this is the cutest packaging ever. So this is what it looks like. It is a matte girl's dream. So what I'm gonna be doing is going in with this one first. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here called Matte Evans. It is a cool tone brown shade. And I'm picking that up with a Morphe M513 brush. You guys, I've never tried like the Balm eyeshadows. I am really excited to see what my thoughts are about it. So I am loving how soft they are applying on my lid. They're really easy to blend out and they're also very pigmented. You guys know I love my matte eyeshadows. This would be a good palette for someone that really is into mattes. And I'm also gonna run that on my lower lash line with the same brush, just making it really smoky. I'm also gonna be going in with Matte Lopez right here. It is a warmer Matte Evans. The one that I just put on is more of a cool tone eyeshadow, but I wanna mix it with this one to see what it does for my eyes. It does add a lot of warmness to the look, and I like that even though they're matte eyeshadows, you can still like distinguish each one. I feel like sometimes with matte eyeshadows, like when you put them over matte eyeshadows, it kind of looks like a blur and just like a blob of colors. So it's really hard to find eyeshadows that are matte that can keep their pigment with other matte eyeshadows. All right, so jumping in into the nude beach palette, I think I'm gonna be mixing two more warm shades. So I'm gonna be mixing bold right here and bodacious right here. These are more on the orange side. And I'm gonna be picking that up with my Anastasia A25 brush just to add a little more color to the crease area. That is so pretty, you guys. And then also run it on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna be taking the shade Breathtaking right over here. It is a brown shimmery shade. And I'm also gonna mix a little bit of Built, which is a, oops, it is a more golden tone. So I'm gonna be taking Breathtaking first without any fix plus to see how it truly applies onto my lid. Okay, so as I keep using it, I'm losing a lot of pigment, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and spray it and see if that works. Okay, yeah, that's much, much better. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with Built, which is the golden color, and I'm gonna be applying that right on top of that as well. Well, this one is a really pretty color. Yeah, so if you're a shimmery girl, then I would definitely go with the Nude Beach Palette, but if you wanna keep it more on the matte side, then Matte Trimony will be your pick. I'm gonna go back in with my Anastasia brush and both of the edges. Okay, guys, one product that I actually love and I kind of cheated on is the Shawing eyeliner. I've actually seen this and heard this a lot, just like the Mary Luminar, so everybody knows who that is. So I have been hearing about this eyeliner for years now and I am so happy that I got to try it. It is a matte eyeliner. It is a fill tip as well. And you guys, it is bomb. Like, I have not been doing winged eyeliner in forever, but now I'm like slowly creeping back into it because of this guy right here. Like, do you guys, I think the reason why I love it so much is because it is so black and it dries super quick. So you don't really have to go back in and like keep applying like layer after layer. And it gives you a really sharp wing. 
because of the brush applicator, so that's why I really like it. Bada beam, bada boom, eyeliner is done. Literally took me like five minutes. Usually that's a really, really small amount of time for my eyeliner. I just love it so much. Like if there's anything that you should pick up from all this, and I haven't even showed you everything, and I haven't tried everything, but this eyeliner, you guys, is definitely a must. I love it so much. All right, guys, so now I'm going to quickly be applying some lashes and mascara, and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, the eyes are done. I am loving how they turned out. This is like an everyday bronzy look, you know? Okay guys, now time to bronze. I have heard about this as well for so long. It is a Bahama Mama bronzer and this is what it looks like on the camera. It's looking a little bit more warm, but it's definitely like a darker shade of Hula bronzer by Benefit. So I can't wait to chest all my chick. I'll be taking my Morphe E4 brush and I'm gonna lightly dust it on my cheeks i think it's more of a contour shade than a bronzer so i wouldn't go crazy with it unless you're like really tan um this will look really pretty on you as like a bronzer but for me i'm on the i'm on the winter time you know maybe so i gotta be careful with my bronzer i do love this shade though i think it's very universal and i feel like it could be flattering on a lot of skin tones um, especially like medium to like <laughs> medium to like olive skin tones. This is a really good bronzer that's not gonna be too warm and it's not gonna be too cool tone either. Mm -hmm. I really really liked it. For blush, I'm trying on this one. It is called Frat Boy and it is like a pinky shade. This is not my kind of shade, but I'm gonna try it for the tutorial. I usually don't do like really pink blushes, but oh, it's pretty. If you do like a really light like, hand. It looks really, really nice. All right, guys, so I'm gonna spray my face before I apply the highlighter. Okay, guys, so the bomb is really known for like their Mary Luminizers. Mary Lou is like their old time, most famous um, highlighter. I think they came out with the highlighter before anybody else had highlighters. That's how old it is and how amazing it is. But today I'm gonna be trying the Bonnie Lou, Bonnie Lou Minizer. It is a highlighter and shadow. This is what the packaging looks like. Ugh. It is more gold tone because Mary Lou is more on the frosty cool tone side. So I'm gonna be taking that with my favorite, my Sigma F42 fan brush. Hopefully it's not too dark for me. Oh my God, I think I just died and went to heaven. Ooh, this is really pretty, you guys. This color is stunning. Oh yes, Bonnie. This is a highlighter that feels very skin-like. It's not powdery at all. And it definitely has the glow jesus i just glow myself like really quickly what just happened i'm also gonna be taking a pencil brush this is by sigma the e30 pencil brush and i'm gonna hit my inner corners with this and also my brow bone so now time for lippies they sent me so so many and they range from like dark shades to like light shades things i'm thinking more like of a nude okay Ooh, guys look at this color it is stunning it's called charismatic Am I gonna do charismatic today, ladies and gents? I think I am. It is a liquid matte, so I think I can just not put um, a lip liner on. Let's see how it performs on the lips. Super excited for this, guys. Hmm. They have a really like minty feel and smell. It's like really different. Also feels like a really sheer matte. So I have to apply about two coats for the pigment to really show through my bottom lip. It's like more on the sheer side, but the color is really pretty. This is like a really pretty nude that I just don't own. I don't think I have this color. I feel like this color top with a gloss should be really, really stunning for like an everyday color. Oh my God, I love this color so much. Let's see if I my hair down. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, how cute! It's really minty and fresh on the lips, which I really, really like. I think for next time, I'll probably wear it with like a lip liner just to make my lips look a little bit more plump and fuller because it's more on the sheer side. It's true because I have not seen like a sheer liquid lipstick. Ooh, sorry. A sheer, sheer, sheer liquid lipstick, but I am obsessed with this look. I really hope that you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe down to my channel. As always, I will have all the products that I use and mention down below along with the links and discount code. Let me know what you guys said of this look, if you liked it, what are your thoughts about it? Have you guys tried um, the Bomb Cosmetics? What products did you love from them? Also, if you guys haven't already, you can always follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. That is all by Allure and Beauty. Well, that is it for today, guys. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Mucho besito. Yeah, abrazos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.